Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome back to our special Buttersuch.com series on Routers 201 Intermediate Studies. In this segment, we're going to look at how you can tweak your MTU settings from your router. MTU stands for Maximum Transmission Unit. It's another term used to refer to the packet or the maximum amount of data you can send. So here in your router software, Go down to WAN Setup, and you'll see MTU size in bytes. Now, it shows 1,500. You can find out if that's a good setting for your MTU by doing a little ping test. And I'll show you how to do it. So click on Start. Type CMD for Command. I'm going to go right here. Now I'm going to ping a website. It can be any website, really. I'll use Butterscotch.com. You want to put in ping, the space, the URL, space, minus F, space, minus L, space, and then the MTUs. So we'll say 1500. Press Enter. Now you see it's coming back with packets need to be fragmented, but DF is set. So in order to find a setting where your packets aren't fragmented, you should start out by redoing the test. And you can do that from DOS by pressing F3. It pastes the previous thing in there again. Try lowering it by 10. So we'll say 1490. And this time, I'm going to skip ahead just for time's sake. An even lower number. And now you see I'm getting good results. So what you do is you keep going through and experimenting. And as long as you don't get a message saying that it's fragmented. So 1270 is my ideal setting. Type exit and you're out of there. If I want to set this to 1270, I can. The thing you need to know when you're changing the MTU size is that not only does it have to be set in your router, but it has to be set on each of your computers. This would give you the maximum packet size going through your router. Now, I have to say that I've shown you this because if you want to do it, and there's discussion on the Internet about MTU size, this shows you how to do it. For the most part, I just leave mine at 1500. You don't take that much of a performance hit, and it's the kind of thing where you can't be sure it's really giving you any kind of benefit without talking with your ISP and getting some more details. But so this is how you can change your maximum transmission unit size. Keep in mind this is a multiple part series, and be sure to watch all the parts. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.